it's been hell, but it's just been bouncing off me. And I bet you a few years ago, or well, three years ago, when I stopped exercising, uh, it would have been... I finally got my first landing pages done. And uh, if everything works out fine, I will start this week um, testing my first Google Ads. I know this has been a topic in um, in the comments uh, lately. Uh, people have experience doing that. I want to try to go into a niche where, where people are looking for experts and um, um, consultants because from my experience, this is where most of my and my, my best clients that I have right now came from when I just went on, on as a freelancer on LinkedIn and then turned them from where well, they thought they were only looking for a freelancer or uh, some guy who consults them, turned them into a real like an agency client. And so this is what I'm trying right now. Uh, I have one issue and, and one priority that, that changed because of, let's say, I can be honest about it, I just didn't feel that great and um, more like from, from a standpoint of uh, fitness. You know, this is what, what you always also said in, 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 in your video class. So get fit before you. You need to be on point um, regarding your, your fitness and sleep and stuff like that. And so, well, I had a holiday with my, with my family and um, saw a lot of friends. I, did, I drank a lot of booze. I um, just ate a lot of shit. <laughs> I gained weight. And so after the holidays where I thought now I should be in, sh I should be uh, like in the right mood to yeah, get back to work. I felt like, Oh shit. I really, I felt tired and I felt like this is this, I, I, I wasn't really happy about getting back to, in, into my office. And I said to my, to my um, employees said, just keep doing it. I just took the calls that I needed to take. And I felt like kind of like burned out and, and and then I realized that this might be because I'm not treating myself the right way. So I'm not getting, I get like five hours of sleep every night. I I, I drink beer at night. I um, go to McDonald's because it's right around the fucking corner <laughs> of my office. So, um, and what I did now is I, I need to change this first, um, or at least I need to uh, treat this part with the same amount of um energy as i treat the grow your agency thing you know because i, I feel like there, there's not enough energy and i need to change this i know this is probably not what we expect in this kind of accountability call but i just wanted to be honest about it because um i realized okay i need to change this so this is what i started like four weeks ago and I feel a lot better. I get more sleep. I, I changed the way I eat stuff and I'm very happy. I got a coach extra actually for this, um, who, who, who supports me. And, and this is not like a diet, but I really want to change the way I, yeah, I, I live, you know, from get, get back from this junk food lover thing, uh, to, to find a way to, to eat healthy and normal and, and get, get enough sleep. So this is my priority right now. So this is so super important, and I'm glad you shared this, Maritz, because um, I went through this a bit before COVID, where I felt uh, we were having we were only having one takeaway a week, but uh, we were letting ourselves slip. We'd buy Harry bag of Harry Bow and eat a load of Harry Bow, and, so, um, and I, st I fell out of uh, my training regime. I used to row a lot, and uh, or just walk, just walk for an hour in the morning. And I like getting up early when it's dark. There's no one around because uh, I'm part-time burglar, obviously. Um, and just having an hour's swift walk is uh, it changes your outlook. The days, and we've spoken about this before with uh, Bryce. The days that I don't exercise, I feel it. I notice it. If I eat, I don't eat McDonald's. I hate the stuff. I wouldn't feed it to a dog. No offense. Um, but if I You're eat. Right. I if I eat a takeaway, I know the next day and it does. And I don't want to sound like, like Mr. Perfect, but I've just cut all that out. Um, we don't eat processed food. Uh, we grow all our own veg. Everything's whole food. If you want mayonnaise, you've got to make it. It doesn't come in a bottle in this house. If you want a sauce, you've got to make it. it just doesn't, we don't have a bottle of it. Um, and honestly, 
it has transformed the way I feel. I don't get, so I used to always get tired about two, three o'clock in the afternoon. Yes. I just feel like I'm shutting down. My eyes are shutting down. Uh, I, I didn't want to work. And some days I'd get up and just be like, oh, I can't be bothered. If I exercise and eat well, that does not happen. Even on a, a shitty day. We've had a shitty day recently because we've got a client migrating to Shopify Plus and the branding agency they're using is a bloody nightmare. They don't appear to understand what Google Ads shopping feeds and conversion tracking is. I just don't. Anyway, it's been a, it's been hell, but it's just been bouncing off me. And I bet you a few years ago, or well, three years ago, when I stopped exercising, uh, it would have been... So, yeah, it's super important. And that's not like, it's not to dig at people that don't exercise, but just even, even a walk, like half an hour walk a day, it does change your outlook. So I think that's the most important thing, actually, just keeping healthy. There's absolutely no point making money if you're slovenly yeah. ailing, not to say you were ever it's like just like getting sat on the sofa at the end of the night feeling like crap chucking netflix on that's no life and i know a lot yeah. sadly a lot of people live like that so yeah super important all the other stuff can wait really but i'm glad that that sort of spurred you on to doing your landing pages and, and also going in a slightly different direction